In an interview with Pitchfork, Zach Condon said that he found the photo and took it home with him. It was hanging on the wall the entire time I wrote and recorded Gulag, and I always kind of felt like it's got to sound like that. It's got to sound the way that looks. And to that I say, mission accomplished. It's very much got that old school cool thing going on with it. The design that has gone around this in general is fantastic as well with the font and the colour palette used. The labels follow the colour scheme and consistency was definitely the best way to go with this in my opinion. It's a sturdy feeling sleeve too so no complaints there. Note that this came with a non poly lined inner sleeve so I stuck my own on it for better protection. There is some crackle to be found often only in the quieter parts, dust buildups make it worse, but the problem is that there's a distortion in the louder parts, kind of like a clipping when audio is too high on gain, and it makes it quite a rough listening experience. This is after immediate cleaning of the stylus as well, as I'm aware that a dirty stylus can produce similar results, but cleaning the stylus did nothing to help with this, so I I'm suspecting it's to do with the record itself. The puffing gives it lows of C- and highs of B. That seems to correlate more with the crackle in spots and doesn't account for the distortion I'm hearing though. And because of that distortion, this is a disappointing pressing to my ears. My poor, poor ears. <laughs> 